All right, so I've got a lot of time tonight, so I've made a couple videos tonight. You guys probably watched the last one about things to expect, you know, coming out onto the road and everything, and to thank you for the 20,000. But so while I got the time and I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys things that I keep on me on the road and things that I think you guys should keep on the road. Because if you get broke down or something and to call a truck to come save you, it's gonna it take hours and hours and hours and hours you don't have. Because every minute is a mile you can put down, every mile you can put down is a dollar in your pocket, 50 cents, whatever it is that you get paid. So I'm gonna go through under the bunk and show you guys some of the things that I have. Let's get to it. So we're gonna go on the side, driver's side cabinet. This side is cleaning stuff, oil. So I've got my rags down here, coolant, coolant, oil, my fifth wheel pull, crowbar, four ways, fire extinguisher. Got some paper towels back there. Got all my tire shine. I got some gloss black spray paint. You know, in case you get like a nick or something in your paint, you can touch it up a little bit. I mean, cause it happens. Turn like, 4,000 miles a week sometimes. I mean, you get into stuff. So I also have some Twister Ultra. So that way, if you gotta take something apart on the truck, a lot of stuff's rusty, cause it's in the rain all the time, you're always driving, things get pretty messed up. So also some brake clean. So that way you can clean stuff, clean grease off, clean your hands up if you have to, da 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 da. Obviously, you know, I got my polish. I got this polish, is the one I bought in the other video that a lot of you are asking about. It's the Magic Mix Metal Polish. So, that's so pretty good. This is a lazy man's polish. That's why I bought it. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty lazy sometimes, all right? So, then I got the Tire Wet Foam. I use that for the rear mud flaps on the front fenders and sometimes the ones back there. Or I just use my regular tire shine, which I have three bottles of, because you know, gotta stay clean. And now my trailer, I have rails on the inside. Oh, excuse me and I can hook straps up to them and ratchet strap like the load in also with my load bars so I have those right there have a little bit of grease right there there's my uh, buffer another piece jumper cables I have that is a disc brake air chamber which is for the tractor because I have disc brakes on the truck and I've had one of those blow out before I didn't have one I had to go to a shop I had to cage it it was horrible, I was in California. Oh, it sucked. Oh, a new bumper. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. Oh, I need my keys, I ain't got one. So, that's on the driver's side, it's mainly my chemicals, stuff like that, things that you need for the truck. On the passenger side here, I've got a drill. I need some bits, that's so if I rip a mud flap off, you can drill the holes and put your mud flap back on. I got my temperature gauge, you know, laser thermometer. So that way, if I think a brake is locking up or something, I can use that, walk around the truck, shoot the brake, shoot the rim, see which one's hotter than the rest. And then I know I'm having a problem with that brake. Then I can figure it out from there. Crowbar, fuel filter wrench. So I can change the fuel filter. You want that, especially for in the winter, in case you gel up, take your fuel filter off, you know, get some anti-gel in there or D-gel, you know, 911, which I have all that right here. I have the one filter there, then I have the, also the big fuel filter back here. I also have an oil filter on me, so if I ever have to do an oil filter on the, or oil change on the road, I can give them my parts, it's cheaper for my boss, in turn, you know, better outcome for everybody. So this is a Huffcore cable, I don't really do that, but that's to put power to a trailer that has a crane in it, and it hauls out glass. So there's that, I have both belts for the engine. I have the big main one and then the accessory one because if you blow a belt, you can't do nothing. I got the tools right here. And this bad boy that has quarter inch, three eighths, and it goes up to, I think, inch and a half. Let's see here. Yeah, you can see here. It goes to a pretty big size because it's a semi. You gotta have the big stuff. And I'm sorry if you guys hear that, like as I spin the camera around in my hand, I don't have one of those foam mounts. I'm just using this little tripod thing. I'm working on getting something better there. 
I got springs, you can use these for anything. If you got lines that fall down, your lines on the trailer, you can hook those up with zip ties. Oh, zip ties. Gotta have zip ties. You can use those for absolutely anything. Right here, I got some uh, shock bushings in case, you know, a shock bushing wears out and then my shock's dangling around. Use the PB blaster, the twister over there. Take that, spray it on there, get the bolt off the shock, put new bushings on it. So that way, if you get stopped, you don't get in trouble. Glad hand grommets. You want to keep glad hand grommets on you at all times because a bad glad hand grommet can cause a leak. If you get DOT'd and you got a glad hand grommet leaking, they can get you can get in trouble for it. So you gotta have those. Always make sure your rubber's good. <laughs> all right, so anyway, I got some light grommets. These go behind there. They also go on here. So I have those in case one of those get ripped when I'm changing a light. I don't have any of those. I gotta go get some. But I have all of my, so these are clear amber. And these ones are for my top lights up there and then my lights right here. And I can't stand to have a light out. It drives me up the wall. And if you have a light on your truck and it's not working, technically DOT can get you for it. Most of them won't bother you if it's like an accessory light that's not important, but if you have it on your truck, you really need to have it burning. So right here, I have a big pair of channel locks. You can use those for absolutely anything. I have a blanket right here, which is used for, you know, covering different parts of the load if I got something sensitive. These are my West Coast hookups. These are the hookups that go underneath the trailer so I can take the pogo stick off. They hook up right here. And then if I have a trailer that's got them on there, I can put it on there and then you won't ever see my wires. Right here, this is a brake chamber for the, my trailer, the one that I run. Most of them are the same anyway, but this is the one that uh, my mechanic uses. So that's the one I have. I also have a spare antenna right here, side marker light, which goes right here. In case one of those go out, cause if it's on the truck, it needs to be burning. So, oh yeah, there's my shoes, they're wet. That's why I'm rocking my boots and shorts right now. So, also, I have a lockout kit right there. Funny story on that, you use that because this girl locked her keys in her car at the gas pump, got her number. Come on, nice guy. Nothing ever came of it though. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it. Oh, and jumper cables, you got jumper cables over there. I don't know if I said that. And, and I mean, even with all this stuff I got in here, you're still gonna need something. Because something's gonna break and you're not gonna have it. Also, I got all my fuses in here. I got all the micros, the regulars, the big fuses, cause I've blown all of them at some point. And I need to get some marker lights cause this one's out. I'm getting new headlights here soon eventually, so I don't have any of those on me, but I need to get some. And uh, right now that's all that I got but there's a lot more that i need i could use a whole lot more stuff so wanted to show you guys that these last two videos were a little bit different no driving in them but we're going to get back to the driving now i hope you guys are enjoying the content i'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year uh, i have a shirt being designed which is awesome i'm going to have a regular shirt that just says high strung on it and then we're going to have hats that say high strung so all that's coming also. I talked to Bunker Branding, hopefully gonna be working with them to do all this. And uh, we're, we're gonna keep on going. Uh, winter's coming. I think you guys are gonna really like that. It gets crazy during the winter. And I really, really hope that the echo in here hasn't ruined this entire video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, drop a comment down there. Makes the video get pumped up even more. The more subscribers we get, the more I can do, and the more chrome we can put on the truck. And yeah, we'll see you on the road.